Anyway, Gerald and Wingy. Gerald uh, is uh, on his new uh, trademark pit. Pit. Uh, I see someone pick the green one. That's quite funny. The green pit? Yeah. Interesting. Joe's the green, funny green man. I see. I thought the funny green man was Luigi, but... No, it's Gerald. It's Gerald. Okay, I see. Uh, Luigi would wear a different color. I was told you Gerald was a little bit. I see. Um, they went to Battlefield form uh, Brinstar, which is a very good Battlefield form. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is before I found out about Battlefield form Venom. This is where I did all my training. Uh, this is where I evolved to... Guy too. <laughs> um, so good, good stage pick by whoever picked this. And then when you chose um, Battlefield Venom, you became Jai Two Go. Correct. Yeah, that's of course. How it works. That's the story. Uh, Gerald uh, racked up a good amount of percent. Absolutely. Um, I wonder what interactions Pit has with Tough Guy. Because we just saw one there where one of the multi hits went through Bowser. Yeah. I would have thought a lot of Pit's moves will actually just not work against Bowser while he's grounded. I suppose. I mean... Are you familiar with Bowser's Tough Guy armor? I am not familiar with okay. any of Bowser's armor, um, to be honest. He I'm... has a passive light armor for Tough Guy. Wow, I see. That is now an even game. Yes. Um, so some attacks with low knockback, uh, just don't, they do not cause him to take any hits done. Oh, interesting. Uh, or knockback or anything. Uh, so he's very strong. Like Moves like Luigi Fireball um, and a lot of multi hits. So yeah, if you have you've got a character with a rapid jab, and they rapid jab Bowser because of the way the jabs work, it keeps you grounded. So by the time the rapid jabs are happening, Bowser is reset to the ground. Okay, well, I think that'll be useful for um, Wingy here, because um, Gerald seems to be very good at getting um, the percentage high, but then, as we've seen, Wingy's able to really close that gap very quickly. Yeah, and uh, absolutely uh, an interaction we might see. I'm not sure if Hit Nair will be... Uh, Watered by Wow! Oh, there we go. Great punish on that get up attack. Um, Pit uh, likes to do Nair out of shield, much like Palutena. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we'll see if the Pit Nair activates uh, through Tough Guy or not. Uh, because if so, when he likes to pressure shields from the ground sometimes. Oh, yeah. To be able to just push a button shield, he presses Nair. That's free, uh, free hits. Ooh, oh, I make that back. Good, good arrows by Gerald. Oh yeah. Pit arrows are so cool. Pit arrows are very cool. I um, I used to play Pit a little bit when I first started playing Ultimate, but I did uh, end up preferring um, Dark Pit. But the arrows are a very, very useful tool. I think Dark Pit is widely regarded as better, except no one plays Dark Pit and everyone plays Pit, so I don't know why. I, I saw Gerald play Dark Pit. Um, I think it was. I think it was at the weekly. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I mean, the, the trade-off is that Dark Pit's slightly is much better. Yeah. Fantastic parry by Wingy. Um, so his arrows, and so like Dark Pit's arrows kill, even if they can't be controlled as well. Yeah. So. Jero seems to be um, not very willing to attack Wingy's shield, which is understandable because Bowser's up out of shield is quite a useful tool. But I know Wingy Jero likes to use a lot. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of things with like fire. Uh, hit, hit stun or anything, yeah. hit lag. So Bowser has a lot of really potent out of shield options to deal with. Uh, those options from the Yeah, there oh, we go with the. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Clean first game. Bit of a back and forth. Gerald takes it in the end. Well played. Gerald showing that he's very good with a wide array of characters, showing up to basically every single event with a new one. Yeah, that's basically how it is. Yeah. It seems to work out for him because not many people know what to do with any of his things. Yeah, that's the thing. If it's a new character and you don't have the matchup, you might just lose. Yeah. That's how it was with his game in one track. Oh, yeah. And then everyone came back the next week after watching the VODs and they're like, oh, okay, this is easy. <laughs> Clap this man. And then he dropped it. <laughs> I see. It'll be interesting to see if people have done that with his pit because, of course, he was using pit all throughout the, uh, the weekly. Mm. If and last week as well. Yeah. If people have had enough time to sort of get used to his habits. Yeah, well, we will see, we will see. Uh, Wingy is talking about something that starts with P. I can only assume Pit. Um, I dare not guess what else. Yes. Oh my god, big back of it. Keeping Gerald in the corner, still, yeah. Being able to pressure someone into Yoshi's corner is really strong, because you've not hook up any escape options. Mm. You have to back off the ledge entirely to try and get up onto that platform without being challenged. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know too much about this stage, because I typically ban it, being a character, uh, a player who plays a character with a lot of projectiles. It's not very 
good for that. So it's interesting to see how it works against these two characters here. Having a stage that's uh, big is very favorable for Bowser. Yeah. It just extends his sort of survivability. I can only assume this, as we just saw there, I can't believe that whipped. I think this stage is more about the arrow control, but you're right down it. Great spike, yeah. Um, yeah, just wanting to keep Bowser locked down, not letting. Yeah. Gerald seems to be great at stringing two hits together, but um, Wingy is keeping the pressure on with Bowser's just sheer amount of damage output. Yeah, you, you, you can do uh, three hit, hit, and that's like one Bowser forward hit. Yeah. How much did it really matter? Oh, another, oh, another wow. down air. Gerald is uh, catching these turns to ledge really well. I mean, Bowser's already a character where, you know, you're below the ledge and you try to go up and it's not that great. Yeah. Generally, if you're returning to Legend Bowser and your opponent's on stage, you may as well consider the stock gone. Yeah. Uh, you might not die straight out, but being able to actually get back is the next thing. You just the Joe didn't capitalize on that falling fair. Mm. So it's probably the best grab there. Stolen the ball, finding the gap. Coming back to the, yeah, the end of Bowser's Fire Breath doesn't do any uh, knockback, only damage. <laughs> so I'm just coming back to it. High down air. Not quite sweet spot. Ooh! Great spacing from Wingy. Big reverse up to it actually outranges the down smash. That's crazy. But at uh, 160 yeah. for Bowser, yeah, this yeah there we go. Run. Great up smash. Gerald takes it in a uh, clean, very early last stop. Currently 2-0 to Gerald. Let's see how this next one plays up. Yeah. We'll see where we can choose to take the stage. There's uh, Cohen in the background. He waves. I wave back. Hello, Cohen. Cohen. Picking the music, of course. Yeah, oh, okay, never mind. I hate oh. them. They picked Lumio City and they're both going to hell. Uh, I, I literally cannot believe that. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Lumio City. I don't remember that one, actually. It's just the town theme. Oh. It's a, like a 13 second loop. That sounds disgusting. It's not good. Sorry, stream. Uh, <laughs> The stage does seem um, in Bowser's favor here because Kalos is large. Yeah, this very is, big stage. I, I think this is a good pick for uh, for Wingy. Especially we saw uh, struggling to return to the stage. Having that platform over the ledge gives her more options. Yeah, and we can already see that she's doing incredibly well here, getting Jared up to seventy percent already. Of course, Jared seems very easy. combo. Jared's um, ability to string attacks together still playing in his favor, but. Yeah, that, oh. But uh, the pit down to it is much bigger than I expected. They're all spacing for that. Quite good. Seeming to actually go on the... It might actually go on the option of flying the Bowser forward to it, which would have the similar range. Yeah. Sometimes I think about this Bowser that would smash for jab and smash for two and scream. Smash for jab and smash for F2 were like so large. Yeah. That was a forward air, is a pretty good move. Backs off the ledge there, uh, which is uh, maybe an ill advised option. Go to free return. And now he has the ledge. Ooh, good yeah. punish. Uh, not quite a kill, but uh, still a good option. Gerald on the ledge is one of the uh, you know, horsemen of the apocalypse. He is a monster. Uh, you don't expect to return on Skate. Yeah, so I, I have played Gerald. In, in the limited amount of times I have played Gerald, it is very scary. Yeah. If he if he so chose, he could 100% uh, 
get you to like change directions and keep you there just to choose the game. I lie awake at night thinking about it. <laughs> I sleep the cold sweat. Steam in his jaw <laughs> <top of> the leg. <laughs> And of course, Pit's ledge pressure is pretty good. You know, you, you've got his down air, which spikes. You've got arrows. Yeah, the arrows are huge for forcing yeah. you to burn all of your options to go to the ledge instead of trying to go past it or whatever. Because um, it's just that little bit of hit stun. It doesn't quite give you any height to go up or anything. Yeah. It's just now you have to move down the ledge. And I'm already here. Nice. Not quite a kill, but it actually looks pretty strong there. Yeah. And we're definitely at a percentage where Bowser can easily score a kill here. Although... Wow, that side B killed. I think yeah. that was some questionable DI. We saw we live a side B at yeah. 160 on that platform, so at 140, you know, we did I from those. But, even game. Narrow to shield and to grab. Uh, good combo DI from me there. Uh, Gerald has been able to capitalize on those like sense. Sounds like there's... Uh, like, uh, Pit likes to, because of the, uh, upward CGI, I believe. When you go for the forward <laughs> smash, <laughs> hitting shield, shield and actually gets away with it, that's crazy. <laughs> I think, uh, Wing's pace could be improved with, uh, short hopping in those fairs, mm. instead of doing full hops. Oh yeah, because the then full, you can the, the full hops kind of telegraph them a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing any, like, full hop tomahawk grab or anything. <laughs> Is, uh, starting to run away with this. Oh, side B off the, side B, the, the there we go. Roll. Okay. Not quite at a percentage yet where it can kill, but we can certainly get there with a Bowser if uh, we can play right. 20% of Gerald is gone. Is so sadly he's basically lost. Already, yeah. Without 20%. Even if he takes, even if he takes the the stock, you know, his spirit will be lost. Yeah. This is a great play by Wingy. Just backing off, not looking to put us up in an uncomfortable situation there. Five breath too close to the ledge. Ooh. That side B is huge. Doesn't come the other side of the kill, stage. But... It's not quite a kill. Just pressuring that platform. Ooh, oh, there we go. Punish by Gerald there. Three O for Gerald. We making it tight in the end. Quite well played. That was easy. Any closing remarks. Um, it's just interesting seeing Gerald 